Lawmakers in the city of Jamestown received a final quote of around $5 million earlier this week for the project to renovate the former Hartley Buick GMC dealership on Washington Street. So we, uh, we were hoping to be within budget. In fact, when we decided to choose a different location instead of building a completely new garage, uh, we were going to be right within budget. But as uh, many of uh, you all probably know, if you try to get a contractor to do a deck or build anything in your house, uh, the rates have doubled and tripled in, in some cases due to inflation and work. While some council members looked at the new location with disdain, Council President Tony Dulce says that the enormous price tag is a cost of doing business in this day and age. Yeah, we, you know, we passed a series of resolutions with uh, several hundred, hundreds of thousands of dollars of uh, improvements to that building. Uh, unfortunately, because of the way the economy is right now, those costs have gone dramatically up. But, uh, you know, it's, it's the price of doing business today to try to retrofit that building and make it do what we need it to do. Even though the price has increased, Mayor Sunquist ensures that this is the most cost-effective option with the construction of a brand new building costing more than double. Uh, if we were to rebuild uh, or create a completely new garage, we were looking we were looking somewhere at 10 plus million dollars uh, at this point given inflation and others. So the fact that we're still hovering around four to five million for the rebuild, uh, in addition, some of that property was also sold uh, to a for-profit business that'll have a business on it. I think it was a good result overall. One aspect for the high price tag is the building's projected eco footprint with everything being electric powered with no use of natural gas. Originally, the plan was to build a $4 million building on Crescent Street. Even with a $1 million grant from the state going towards the project, officials are still looking at other options for funding with any leftover costs being covered under normal bond processes. Bronson Rasmussen, WNY News Now.